Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we celebrate the third Sunday of Easter. Our Mass today is live streamed from St. Anthony's Church, Bintulu. Let us together sing our opening hymn. My Lord, he died for a kingdom. My Lord, he died for a kingdom to redeem the hearts of men. Now, my people, don't you weep? He has risen from his sleep, he lives again. Alleluia, sing Alleluia. The Lord is risen, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. My Lord came forth like the morning. With the splendor of the sun Can triumphant from the womb From the darkness of the tomb The victory won Alleluia Sing Alleluia The Lord is risen He is risen indeed Alleluia In the name of the Father And of the Son And of the Holy Spirit Amen the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel reading, we will hear that in the name of Jesus, repentance for the forgiveness of sin will be preached to all nations. Let us pray that through this Eucharist, we will be open to the grace of the resurrection so that our hearts may be moved to ask forgiveness from God for the many times that we have failed Him, the many times that we have failed one another. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, You are Israelites, and it is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors who has glorified his servant, Jesus. The same Jesus you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate, after Pilate had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One, the Just One, you who demanded the reprieve of a murderer, while you killed the Prince of Life. God, however, raised him from the dead, and to that fact we are the witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing. This was the way God carried out what he had foretold when he said through all his prophets that his Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Live up the light of your face on us, O Lord. Live up the light of your face on us, O Lord. When I call, answer me, O God of justice, from anguish you release me. Have mercy and hear me. Live up the light of your face on us, O Lord. It is the Lord who grants favors to those whom he loves. The Lord hears me wherever I call him. Live up the light of your face on us, O Lord. What can bring us happiness? Many say, live up the light of your face on us, O Lord. 
Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. I will lie down in peace and sleep comes at once. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Live up the light of your face on us, O Lord. The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing this, my children, to stop you sinning. But if anyone should sin, we have our advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, who is just. He is the sacrifice that takes our sins away, and not only ours, but the whole world's. We can be sure that we know God only by keeping his commandments. Anyone who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, refusing to admit the truth. But when anyone does obey what he has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Lord Jesus, explain the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn within us as you talk to us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized Jesus at the breaking of bread. They were still talking about this when Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated? And why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and feet. Their joy was so great that they could not believe it. And they stood dumbfounded. So he said to them, have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant when I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms has to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, so you see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, let me share with you the story about the frog and the scorpion. 
One day, a scorpion asked a frog to carry it across a river. The frog at first hesitated, but later said to the scorpion, I will carry you across the river under one condition. Don't sting me. Otherwise, we both will drown. The scorpion agreed. But midway across the river, the scorpion stung the frog. As they both slowly drowned, the frog asked the scorpion, I thought we had an agreement not to sting me. Why did you? The scorpion answered, I cannot help it. It is my nature. How many times have we confessed the same sins over and over again without having any success, changing our sinful habits? How many times have we made resolutions to change for the better, but in the end, go back to square one? Sometimes this leads us to convince ourselves, like the scorpion, I cannot help it, it is my nature. But then, my dear brothers and sisters, with God, nothing is impossible. If God can raise Jesus from the dead and turning the death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, surely God can make us become saints from sinners. In the Gospel reading today, we hear that in the name of the risen Christ, repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all the nations. In the name of Jesus, there is power to turn away from sin and go back to God. In the name of Jesus, there is power to die to sin and live for God. In the name of Jesus, there is power to become the person that God wants us to be. St. Benedict once said, What is not possible to us by nature, let us ask the Lord to supply by the help of His grace. That is why in every sacrament, God gives us the grace to transform and perfect our nature so that in Christ, we can become a new creation. The second reading today reminds us that by His death and resurrection, Jesus is the sacrifice that takes away our sins. In other words, we are not defined by our sinful human nature but on what the grace of God can do in our lives. That is why St. Paul says, I am what I am by the grace of God. May we open our hearts and let the power of the resurrection penetrate into the darkness of our lives so that the grace of God can permeate our whole being and bring to perfection the plan of God in our lives. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we hear his word in the scriptures, our hearts burn within us with a longing for God's presence. With this Easter hope, let us express our needs in prayer. That those who teach in the church will remain faithful to the gospel of repentance and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That leaders of church, government, and industry we we'll work together to provide food, employment, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. That those who are dying may know the peace of the risen Christ. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That we may understand why Christ had to suffer and on the third day rise from the dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. That Christ, our advocate with the Father, we bring the dead to eternal glory, especially for those we now pray for. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Prayer to Saint Joseph, the worker. O glorious Saint Joseph, you were obedient to the angel to take our mother Mary as your wife, and thus you were honored to become the head and master of the house and dwelling of the holy family in Nazareth. You were devoted to care for them in all their earthly needs. We present to you with my Saint Joseph and its journey of faith. Accompany us with your prayers on this mission of evangelization and of construction to build the Lord a house in the Diocese of Mary. Intercede for us that our plans will advance and increase the kingdom and reign of your Son, Jesus Christ, in the life of the people within the Diocese of Mary. As we want to build the Lord a house, help us to never forget that the Lord dwells with a people of humble and contrite heart. Amen. Almighty God and Father, we ask you to grant these prayers through your risen Christ, the glorious Prince of life, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to so acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
He never ceases to offer Himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before You. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in Your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of Your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with His Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to You, so that we may obtain an inheritance with Your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with Your blessed Apostles and glorious martyrs, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in Your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family 
whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at your passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the peace of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you will please to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Here are two church notices. Combined requirements. The combined requirements for April is on Friday, 30th of April 2021, at 7 a.m. at St. Joseph. Combined requirements. The combined requirements for April is on Friday, 30th April 2021, at the 7 a.m. daily online mass. Please register before Wednesday, 28th of April 2021. For more information, please refer to the Paris website.
online courses, online First Holy Communion classes for children in primary five and six. Pre-marriage and NFP courses will begin in May. Please register name and preferred language through WhatsApp to the parish number 016-224-8126. For more information, please refer to the parish website. Lantern, appeal, and donation for Holy Land. Total amount collected for Lantern, appeal was 26,000 ringgit Malaysia. Total amount collected for Holy Land was 1,500 ringgit Malaysia. As we are in the year of Saint Joseph, let us now pray the prayer Saint Joseph, prayer of Saint Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted His only Son, in you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Now we have the blessing for children. I invite parents or guardians to trace the sign of the cross on the forehead of your children at the end of this prayer. God our Father, you are the source of life. We thank you for all our children gathered at home, asking for your blessing. We ask you to bless and guide them with your loving care. Take care of their every need. Protect them from all danger. Bless them so that they will grow up faithful to you and the church. Bless their parents and family members also with love and unity. Grant them your peace and joy always. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Told me to, he said free.